welcome back to my channel. I've got um, my favourite beauty ad items, things I'm wearing today, things I'm really enjoying, um, a new look haul and a charity shop haul. It's the British Red Cross, what a great, great charity. You know, I'm always willing to give to them. And that was from Abba Swift. So let's start with the beauty products I'm wearing today. First of all, um, in the shower, I use a cleanser. This is a really nice soap and glory and it's um, a vitamin C cleanser. Gets your face really squeaky clean. Lovely that. Um, then I use the Liz Earl exfoliator. It's a gentle exfoliator. That's Liz Earl. That's really nice. Pop it on, give it a good old rub it in and then wash it off with a nice microfiber cloth. I've got a few. Actually, I could do with some more microfiber cloths. Then before putting anything on my face, I use this vitamin C serum and that's the one from Superdrug. I've used it a few times. Really enjoy that. It sinks in. It's really cheap. I, I like it. Um, I've got a Clinique. Almost finished. Look. Oh, a few bits at the bottom. I got that in one of the next beauty boxes. If you um, if you get subscriptions, you don't really know what's in them. With the next one, they do about six boxes. They definitely have, they, they do change them. There's a special Mother's Day one, a baby and mother one. Um, there'll be a Christmas one. Um, all, all different sorts, different skin types, um, hair things, even for men. Have a look on there. Put it in the beauty box and you get really good deals. You pay, you know, I pay on the average of £20 and you get a really nice stuff. Anyway, that's the, sorry, that's the moist surge, the surge from Clinique. I'm wearing NARS Sheer Glow in Valoris. That's Valoris. I mean, why would I show you that? You, you're not my colour. <laughs> so that's really nice. Um, if you want to get it checked out, find a space NK. They do all of NARS and they will um, give you a, you know, they'll put the makeup on you and, and show you which is your colour. Because I thought that can't be my colour. It was. <laughs> I've got Maybelline Cheek Tint. Um, that's just a pinky gel um cream blush really nice there's a little bit on there a bit like the number seven one and then pat it on i haven't got a lot on today i just you know and obviously it's the end of the day now um i'm wearing on my eyes estee lauder you can't really see it estee lauder double wear cream eyeshadow in antique gold number four i don't know if they still do these i've had this gosh over 10 years i've got a lovely plummy color too and that's a lovely i'll, I'll show you it. it's a little bit dried out around the edges but not in the middle, it still works. It's lovely, like the antique gold, like a bronzy. Um, wearing my favourite mascara of the moment. I do try lots of mascaras out. The new number seven that was everyone was raving about. <laughs> I'm just not a fan. What a waste of money. Anyway, that's um, the extreme length. Love it. I like the long lash. Um, lipstick I had on earlier, I've got... This is MAC... Fanfare, you can probably see it just there. That's a lovely, you can see how much I've used it. Um, a lovely pink, neutral pink, really nice. Fanfare by MAC. And then the one I'm wearing now, which is a bit brighter, and that is number 10, Kiko Milano. And it's like a very bright pinky red. I love that, absolutely love it. It, it, it goes on glossy and then it dries down, but it does transfer. It's no good, I mean, you should see my cup. So that's the makeup I'm wearing today. Um, the lip balm I've been using a lot, and this is about my second or third, is the Burt's Bees Pomegranate Oil Replenishing Lip Balm. Gives you a tiny bit of colour. It's quite nice if you're feeling a bit drab. You know, if you've not got makeup on, but you want to look a bit alive. Um, perfume I'm wearing is the, um, of course, Sevilla Belle or Lubby, 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 I don't know, Lovey Belle. It's the, it's the Lancome. You know the one, Julia Roberts. It's got a little tie on here normally, but that seems to have popped off. I put that, Sevilla Belle. Oh God, why can't I ever remember? I put it in this little atomizer. It's really good. You take the, the, the little pump thing off the top of the um, perfume, any perfume bottle, it's easy. Just pu pull it off and then you, you pump up and down and it fills that up and you can see the little window. So that's full. I need to get a new one of those. I'll tell you where I got it from and how much it costs. Um... How I keep my makeup on is this Mark from Avon Magics. That's really good. Um, I used to get the Avon one. It's not, and it, that was all so-called Magics, I think. And there was a primer. That was a really good primer, actually. I might buy that again. I haven't bothered with any primer today. I just wanted a light wash, really. And that's the um, Makeup Fixer. Prep and Set Spray. Really good. 
it's not fine that it's missed as, uh, as some, but I've had expensive ones that have just been water spraying out. So this isn't bad at all for the price. What else did I get? Um, oh, well, what else did I, sorry, stuff that I've been loving. Mitchum, um, going through perimenopause and menopause, your body changes, you know, and um, it's not like I sweat more, it's just it smells differently. <laughs> that sounds disgusting, doesn't it? But you know, I... <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Mitchum ladies, try it, really good, and get the stick, get the stick. The roll-on takes ages to dry and you will get it all over your clothes. Um, what I've been using for pain management, um, apart from Voltarol, which I haven't had to use for a long time now, along with, I'm sure my HRT is really kicking in and helping with my arthritis. Really think it's that, you know, that, that, um, that neck is so much better. Is CBD oil, if I do have aches and pains, I have Jakob Hoy, or Jacob Hoy, however you say it, he's Dutch, um, was Dutch, um, CBD oil, 5%, I also use the 2.75%, which is also really good, this works immediately, you have immediate, you know, um, relief, really love that, and the denti sticks, I bought some of these today, so this is stuff I'm loving right now, you know, I just had my, sorry, crinkling, I've been to the dentist recently after lockdown. I wanted, I needed some work done, and um, I, and then COVID happened, and I couldn't carry on with it. So I've had all of my gums cleaned. Um, I thought that sounds disgusting as well, but I've had all of my teeth cleaned really well, and all my gums um, are nice and really healthy. I've had a filling done. I have to have a root taken out from a broken tooth, and then as soon as that's done, I'm getting a new crown. I hate this thing here it's far too big it was I've had it over 20 years and I'm saying I'm saying 30 years I've had it 30 years it's a good old trusty crown it's never broken never fallen out but it's too big and it's fallen they will fall after that many years I don't think it's supposed to have them that long but it's been a good a good old uh, crown but it's time for it to go so I get these denti sticks to keep all my teeth clean I use um Sensodyne toothpaste at night and I use Oral-B in the morning with a Colgate uh, whitener. When my teeth, when, when my gums were being healed, I used um, chlorhexidine, which is, uh, I don't know, you, you know what the stuff I mean, um, that you wash out when it's just for gum disease. Anyway, they're all better. Gosh, thank gosh, what a difference. Um, so, and, so let me show you what I, oh, another thing. Oh, there is these. As you know, I went just back from holiday with my mama and my lovely two sisters. And um, these hair wraps, so they're turbans, you put them on the back, you twist it round and throw it underneath and then you've got a big turban on. Brilliant. So now I'm going to show you my haul that I got. I'll start off with, um, I'll start with a new look haul actually. And these were, so this, this t-shirt, I love that. Doesn't that look nice? I just love that. This was, um, so I got the black t-shirt and I got the red one to go with it, which I'll show you a bit more of. Um, so this is the red one, quite a high neckline. The red one's even higher, it's really weird. There we are, you can see, lovely red. And with the, they had the white as well, but they only had a size 16 or an eight. And these are a 12 and they fit beautifully, just right, with just a little bit of room so you can have it sort of like ruched around. Really pleased with those. Now, the weird thing is, is this is, this was, they were seven ninety nine, but actually the black and white one were nine ninety nine. Now I'll pay seven ninety nine for a, um, for a t-shirt, but I'm not sure I'd definitely pay nine ninety nine if I knew, but I will wear it a lot. I think it looked nice with those little dungarees I got. To go with the t-shirts, and I, I'm, I think I might buy the white one. I'll see, see if I can afford that whole tenner, um, is the clot. I'm going to, them back so i've got these little wide trouser culottes aren't they lovely they're a lovely red ditzy color ditzy i like that i'm ditzy they're a size 12 they've got a nice bit of room in them and they're pleated fronts and they have pockets oh my god i can't cope now if i'm wearing something that hasn't got pockets oh no 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 i need pockets i don't know why it's just that's you know pockets are very very useful <laughs> just for putting your hands in Okay, so that's what I got from New Look. So it was those three. Sorry, let me show you the price. 
So the red was $7.99, the black one was $9.99, and these were $23.99. I don't know if... Um, I bought them because I really like them. All of us, all three of us, we had shopping fever. We were out, well, girls out shopping. I mean, my sisters bought loads of stuff from New Look. They bought some gorgeous stuff. They bought the matching dungarees. And I thought, do I need the dungarees? No, I don't need the dungarees. Need? Want? Yes. Need? No. Anyway, so charity shop, British Red Cross. Brilliant charity yet again. I have to say that. They are really good. Now, I've got... Um, this was in Aberystwyth, by the way, Aberystwyth. And um, there's a British Red Cross in one of my close towns and it has, um, that's Chippenham. And it has consignments from Zara, has a lot of Zara stuff in. I'm not a huge fan, they have the stuff that they can't sell. So this was a Betty Jackson, Betty Jackson Black. I think that's Debenhams. Now, I, you know when you get charity shop fever where you go in there and you go oh yes I'll have it and then you get it home and go oh I'm, uh, how am I going to wear it <laughs> that's how I felt with this I don't like the collar it's got a little button I won't have that open so I'm going to see if I can take that collar off I'm sure I can and just have it as a granddad collar with an open it's it's not a high V it's um polyester The, you know, the really, really oversized, it has pockets. <laughs> so that's maybe one of the reasons why I bought it. It's longer at the back than the front. And actually, um, you'll see in the try-on, I've, I've already done that, that I like it more on than I do off. That was 325 I also got... Oh, no, sorry. I've also got this long i'll say it's a lagen look style dress it's one of those long ones with no shape that flows and it's slightly uneven at the bottom goes up at the sides i cannot find anything in there to tell me who made it what it is i believe it's cotton it's creasy enough to be cotton um i don't know if it's handmade i don't i really can't can't say there's nothing in there it hasn't anything on there and it it, oh, it has had a label in, but I can't see who. Um, that was basically, a, it said a large, but I was like, I'll have that. <laughs> Something like this, you don't really mind. I hope this doesn't blur or sort of pixelate the filming showing you this. That is a really nice paisley pattern. And I think I can do something with that. Let's see. Um, oh gosh, I'm sat on it. Oh, there we go. Um, this little cardigan. Um, my favourite Bowden cardigans, love them. Got a ridiculous amount. Isn't that lovely? It's that lovely torpy colour with the polka dot, white polka dot, big buttons and a collar. Oh, I need a wash. Um, it doesn't smell horrible, it just smells charity shoppy. So, um, yeah, big wooden, well, no, not wooden buttons, are they? Plastic buttons. And I really like that. I've been looking for something like this. I've had it in my basket on eBay a couple of times, and but they want sort of like 20, 30 pounds for it. This was six pounds, so for Bowden. And then it was at a size 12 hanger. It's actually a size eight. You probably, or you might be a size eight. And unbelievably, I can wear it. We find these ways. Um, here is my scarf I bought. It's a Ramon scarf. Love the Ramones. I saw the Ramones in 1988 or 1989 at Reading Rock Festival with Iggy Pop. Absolutely brilliant. Do you know, I really think, I can't remember, they seem to have moulded into two. I saw Meatloaf and Bonnie Tyler. Um, I, well, I missed Bonnie Tyler. Meatloaf, that's a long story. <laughs> Maybe I'll tell you one day, but I doubt it. Um, what were they called? Hot House Flowers, Deacon Blue. They got bottled off the stage, unfortunately, poor people. Um, yes, so that was really, really good. I can't remember who else played. I can't remember. All I know is I danced along to the Ramones in my wild child days in the late 80s. Yeah, so that's a really nice scarf. There we go. So that's it. That's my haul. Let's go and try it on. 
there we are. This is the um, the lovely red collots. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So I'm wearing it with the red top. I'm not going to try the, the uh, black top on. You know, this is what it looks like. Um, I've not got the correct bra on. These don't hold me up very well, do they? Good Lord. Um, I'm, I'm filming it this way. Hopefully it'll work. I think I can put it in um, YouTube mode. But yeah, really like this. Uh, I'd probably wear it with um, my little daps or uh, some flip-flops, some nice flip-flops type things. Um, or my, yeah, my white trainers. So I'm really pleased with this now. That's better. I think I need to try and film it this way. Otherwise I've got to end up, you know, I stand so far back I might as well be in a different town and you can't see anything. So that's that. Um, the lipstick I've got on is a pink Kiko Milano. Really like it. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you it another time. So this is the Lagan Look dress. Um, I've just rolled up the, the jeans underneath. I'd probably wear something underneath it. So I've got these wedge sandals, just as for jewels that roll up, that tie up. I've got my lovely antique gold necklace that I resprayed that my sister bought me. Antique cuff and then these, um, you know, it's like the antique gold, so it, it goes really nicely. Um, I love it actually. <laughs> I thought, you know, you go and buy stuff and you get it home, you like, I don't know what to do with it. But doing these try-ons has made me try it out with things. You try something on, it doesn't go with what you're wearing, you put it away. So when you actually try and style things, it's given me such good ideas. In fact, I might not buy so much stuff. With a leather jacket. And I've got my Doc Martens, which again would look really good with this Lagen look. So that's sort of more of a, a light summer with, you know, evenings you pop this on. And you've got, you know, I just think it's a really nice... I really like it. Gosh, that's something that I thought, uh, I'll buy it. Or I bought it. So that's, you know, this was a, this is a £15 Primark special. You can see the earrings. This is the size 8 cardigan. This is why we say, try things on. There's a lovely girl that does, in, um, she does uh, her own YouTube, Emma Radcliffe, go find her. She sort of stopped doing, she did loads. And then she stopped doing them. So, okay, it's not going to do up, but do you wear a cardigan done up all the time? This is just, you know, like I say, it's a size eight. You know, I could do it up, but I'm not going to. But it just looks so nice to throw on. It's so sweet. So I will wear it. As I say, I was going to take it back, but I thought, no, I will wear it. Um, just over a nice little, like a, a vest top. I want, what, what I'm looking for are... Um, those nice flowy camisole tops to wear in the summer under things like a cardi with your jeans with your trousers skirt whatever and uh, under a blazer because at the moment yeah I want something that flows out just sort of like here but yeah I'm really pleased with this I think they, maybe someone handmade it I'm not sure it's a lovely pasty colour really pleased anyway I will speak to you in a mo here we are with the um say that Betty Black Jackson top um do you know i quite I, i'm sort of getting used to it um i do like to wear a bit of my clothes a bit more fitted as i've got older um because like i say i've got um the small legs of the apple shape but um well it's not like all of a sudden nobody knew that everybody knows what i look like <laughs> so i'm really pleased with that i'm going to say disguise yourself well no don't get out there girls come on um, with my marla beads, these little wooden marla beads and some little matching wooden um, bracelets. That looks, I quite like that. The shoes, I'm going to put them up here, are fit flops. Nice sort of gunmetal metallic look um, with black. Little bits of gothic-y, I really like those. Gothic-y. There you go, my daughter's was a goth. <laughs> a 30-year-old goth. She, God, she's a mother's daughter. Um, bit of a wedge fit flop, £20 off eBay over £100 new, and they were barely worn. So these have got pockets, so I just, I don't know, I think, I think I'm loving it. I think I'm loving it. You know, Sam, don't hide yourself, oh, come on. Um, just some, these earrings I'm, I've got on with the other outfit. I've had to redo all this. Anyway, love it, very nice. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Um, these are new look coated jeans I bought about five years ago, and they stayed really nice. Yeah, they stayed lovely. So well, I think I'm okay. When you wear a smocky top and you've got really big boobs, 
you, you, you know, I go in, I actually go in. <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, it just hangs off your boobs. It just makes you look bigger. But like I say, it's, it's chiffon, see-through. I like it. Yes, I do. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, the try-ons were, uh, I did a while ago when I did another video and I just kept getting interruptions and I really felt like I was rushing everything. You know, my I was trying to get it done before my husband came home from work. Then my sister came round and then the washing machine started. Then my husband started making loads of noise and clanging about. And I just thought, no, I'll do my I'll do my haul and my favourites whilst he's having his little rest. He gets up very early, so he's gone to bed now. I wanted to show you just because you might ask about this necklace. Sorry about that. You might ask about this necklace, and that was from Vinted for I think it was two pounds. God, I love it. I'd love it in different colours. It's a very pale mint green. It goes with a lot of colours actually because it's a neutrally green. You know, it's. It's it's got that grey blue as well, really nice. Just drop that. Um, if you want to know what's on my nails, that is um, L'Oreal, the classic L'Oreal. You can't go wrong with these ones. They're so good. I've got quite a few of these. If you'd like to see them, I'll show you them again. So that's the pink. It's it's coming up a little bit redder, but it's a lovely pale pink. I've tried to put it a different way, maybe there. And that's Nymphaea. And that's 226 L'Oreal, just their classic. I got, I get mine off of Amazon. They're a little bit cheaper. Um, if you'd like to see my other colours, I can do those. So, yeah, I use the red, okay, and I use the top coat gel. And that's in the black again. It's the, um, just the classic L'Oreal. Really good. I've tried lots of different nail varnish. These are my favourite, and I will buy more of these. So, that's it. That's my haul and my fashioned and, uh, sorry, my beauty favourites for today. I'm going to be filming um, a cook, uh, uh, what I'm cooking for tea tonight. Um, I'm doing it separately because you might not, you know, do the diet I do. So it, you might not be interested. If you are interested in the keto diet, please look back on my um, earlier how I lost weight. And um, I'll go more into detail about the keto diet in my next video, which will be the nachos, the chili nachos with I'm going to make a taco meat. I'm going to make um, a cheese, cheese Doritos, cheese tortillas, nacho, um, taco style meat, a guacamole. I've got sour cream and I've got salsa and I put some grated cheese on there and I'm starving already. So I can't wait to have those because I've been fasting all day. Yes, I've been fasting. Um, just one meal tonight. Um, I, you know, I just want to lose that little bit around the middle. I'm, I'm, I'm conscious of it. I want to get rid of it. So hopefully that will be gone in a couple of weeks and I can just be back on track and not eat all the bad things that I've been eating. Yes, I have. <laughs> I can't deny that I've been eating far too many chocolates and biscuits recently. Once you start, it's difficult to stop. But since Monday, I've been very, very good. So there we are. That's the end of my today's video. It's Wednesday the 23rd. It's morning of my daughter's birthday today. That's Rosie. It's her birthday. She's 27. And we're all going to meet up on Friday for coffee and cake. Just coffee for me. <laughs> um, so it's been lovely doing this again. I'm really enjoying it. This one time round was better because, I, like I say, the ones I did earlier, so rushed. And I was just so, you know, just so many interruptions all the time. I couldn't quite get get in the mood you know the vibe was wrong <laughs> so i'm much happier now that's better i don't want to be forcing things um so yeah day off today from work tomorrow i've got admin so i might just do a quick what i'm wearing because i had that earlier and i just didn't get around to doing it so i might do what i'm wearing today for tomorrow and that might be popped on to my um my nacho thing or i might just add it on to the next haul or vlog i got friday yes i got friday off Yes, um, then I've got one o'clock at the dentist to get that out. So I won't be able to do much on Friday because he'll numb that and then I'll be in pain and I don't know what he's going to do. I'm not going to think about it. <laughs> I'm just going to get it done because I'm thinking of the future and getting my crown done. So very, um, yeah, lovely um, to do this again. I'm finding it really enjoyable. It's become my hobby. I'm getting, ed I'm editing a little bit better. So that's getting better. And um, 
trying to get the light obviously it's not great because I'm, I'm in the I'm, I live in a dip so I don't get lovely sunshine I've got a ring light which you know it hasn't got a plug on it. it's stupid I haven't got enough plugs anyway I'm going to say goodbye because I'm going to start rambling otherwise thank you so much for watching please comment um if you need to know anything or would like to know any more about um my life <laughs> which is a 52 year old menopausal weirdo um bit of an old goss really <laughs> um please put it in the in the comment uh, section ask me anything um and i'll answer what i'd like to answer i'm not going to answer anything am i <laughs> um so my husband's just like i said he's gone up to sleep i'm going to prepare for my next video which is filming yeah for tea tonight so thank you so much for watching again Hello to my nine subscribers. It's lovely for you to uh, subscribe. I didn't think I'd get one. I knew I'd get one. <laughs> my son, his partner, maybe. So, yeah. Hi, fam. Hi, Tracy. Lovely to see you again. Sort of. And I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.